Right. So could you start by just introducing yourselves? Hi, my name's Reed. My name's Mia. <laughs> and where do you both work? We work at the Department of Broadband, Communications and the Digital Economy, which is with the Australian Federal Government. Great. And I just heard you guys give a, a great talk about the plans for national broadband here in Australia. And I'd love to hear you uh, share those a little bit for our folks back in the States. Sure. So the Australian government's committed to build um, what's called the National Broadband Network. It's going to connect 100% of Australian premises uh, with high-speed broadband. And um, uh, I think it's 93% of the population is getting fibre to the home. And then the remaining 7% are getting a wireless and satellite solution. And the idea is just to ramp up the speed so that we've had a bit of a challenge in Australia because it's a really big country. Uh, we've had a bit of a challenge with people in regional Australia not getting good access to the same level of broadband that people in the cities do. So hopefully this will level the playing field for all of Australia. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do this by 2020? Right. Well, uh, we're going to, yes, approximately. <laughs> Excellent. And what's the impetus here? Uh, I think the impetus is that uh, we haven't had um, great broadband being shared uh, in, uh, evenly around the country. And I think Australia really sees that there is, or the Australian government really sees that there's a lot of benefit for Australia from getting good broadband. Um, mm -hmm. So we think there's some economic benefits and some uh, social benefits. And I guess Australia has always been defined by distance, like we're removed from the rest of the world, we have big distances between us, and so broadband really can shrink those distances. And outside of the connectivity, there's also, read right. there's a, a program in place to help people understand what to do with this connectivity. Yes, so we found that a lot of small businesses and not-for-profit organisations have a real interest in making most of the opportunities online, but they find that they don't have the time, they don't have the money, or they don't have the skills. And so the Australian government has created the website digitalbusiness.gov.au, and that's got information and advice for small businesses, not-for-profits, or individuals to help them establish their online presence or enhance their existing online presence, use how to, learn how to use social media tools, uh, communicate better online, and there's some low-cost or free tools that we mentioned, as well as some really easy to understand and easy to use tools. So really anyone can take that next step and take advantage of the opportunities available to them. Mm -hmm. available to them um, that will now be even greater thanks to the National Broadband Network. And why do you think that's so important for the non-profit sector here? Well, non-profit sector in Australia has um, some really good examples of how they're using technology better. Uh, there's a new blog post on digitalbusiness.gov.au talking about Lifeline, which is a crisis support service, and they've just started to do online chat um, to people in need, and we've also got a ca video case study there from the Royal Society for the Protection of Animals, animals. Yep. Um, <laughs> Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, right. the RSPCA, um, on our website, and they're talking about how they're using social media and e-commerce and community building tools to enhance their um, financial prospects as well as better serve the community. So mm -hmm. really technology and broadband and the internet can help every aspect of your not-for-profit organisation. Um, on sure online marketing or fundraising might be the first things you think of and they're very important but there's really just so much you can do. Right. I think it's also the non-for-profit sector is like an important part of the Australian economy and society but it's also a great bridge to try to help us um, promote social inclusion and digital inclusion, so I think that's why we also, if the not-for-profit sector is using technology effectively, then maybe as part of their work they can help bring the rest of Australia along, because at the moment we have 26% um, of Australians over the age of 15 who don't use the internet at all, um, and so we want to try to, and they mainly say they don't do it because they don't see the relevance, so hopefully we can start a conversation around the country about how engaging digitally can help people. Right, and if nonprofits can reach more of the people they're trying to serve online, they can serve those people in new ways and efficient ways. And okay, yep, yep. they can harness some of those productivity and efficiency benefits themselves. Yeah. Right. Anything else you guys want to add? Have a look at digitalbusiness.gov.au. It's all Creative Commons licensed, so please have a look and think about ways you could remix it or use the information in new ways and we'll send us feedback. Yeah, we're very open to feedback. We've launched it in beta. If you have any new resources that we should be aware of or sections of the content you think we could improve. Or if you want a guest blog post. If you want to do a guest blog post, let us know. We'll interview you and put something up. You're welcome. <laughs> You'll be next. We'll, oh no. We'll turn the camera on you. So. <laughs> that's, that's not allowed. <laughs> All right, thank you both very much. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.